see it. Good to see everybody. Episode 42, Behind the Tool Belt. We can't see Ty. All right, good to see Carmen in the house tonight. Carmen, we're glad to have you in the house. Vic, we can't see Ty on here. Stare this out and see it. On our feet. Drop your tail in the comments, please. We're excited to see everybody. We got to zoom out. I see him. You do? Yeah. Oh, mine, I can't see him. All right, never mind. Apparently, this is mine. Okay. It's mine, too. It's yours, too. Mm -hmm. okay. That's odd. Yeah, Ty's cut off. And you got, this. Ty, you're out of the screen a little bit. I see. That's weird. I want you to all slide over one seat. We are one seat. <laughs> hey, you can't even see all the all the tags and everything on here. Yeah, I'll get it. <laughs> it's on the actual computer. It's on the actual computer. Yeah, it's on your computer on, on the left side, Vic. You gotta zoom it out a little bit. Yes. You might have a leaky roof. Your family member might have a leaky roof. Maybe it's somebody in your... If you're in a church group, share this to your church. I mean, if Jesus isn't helping small America today, I don't know what is going on. So please, if you're in a church group, share this to your church group because we need to support each other. It is important that America comes back to the fundamentals of helping one brother and another sister. And that's what we do here. That's you know, what? Right what is uh, everything that Wayne Scott... And Kim did. What's that? Transitional harvest, harvest trans transitional living, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I just saw all the pictures. Great, you yeah. guys do a great job. The whole team and the ladies of TC Backer Construction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're about to uh, move a bunch of guys into. Yeah, they house. just got it all cleaned up. So yep. from all that time watching on the shows, they're with all the COVID stuff. They're moving in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, awesome. high five to awesome. everybody that was a part of that. Everyone that participated. These are the things that TC Backer Construction and Horizon Lawns. And don't forget about no more little brother Horizon Lawns LLC. See, they're yeah. going to be plowing your driveways and plowing your businesses. Absolutely. So yeah. please, hard working, really storm, great storm hard working right around the corner. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. So you know, and it's don't forget, it's still fall cleanup. While they're doing their sharing and inviting, make sure that you know it's fall cleanup time. You have leaves. The gutters are get are full of uh, leaves coming in. Helicopters. Get your gutter guard put on there. Have them come out there and, and give you a price that's affordable. They have financing. We have a couple birthdays to talk about uh, that are coming up tomorrow. I know Kiera's birthday is coming up. And Vic, you said it was your uh, son? Both sons. Both of your sons? Twins? Both twin boys, yes sir. Birthdays. So wow. we got some birthdays tomorrow. So if you have a birthday, put up your birthday. You don't have to yeah. put your age. We don't need to know ages unless right. you want to. But um, put up maybe a birthday cake up if it's your birthday in the next week. Mm -hmm. uh, between show to show, we like to stay connected. But we're excited. 41. Um, we wouldn't be here, and we know we say it because we're grateful. If it wasn't for people sharing and, and being a part of this and commenting and, and all that stuff, mm -hmm. starting a watch party. So mm -hmm. we appreciate all right. that. Um, What's up, all, Chris Markey? It all comes back down to the work that, that, that this culture and this uh, TC backer and Horizon yeah, Lawns does. Absolutely. So, absolutely. Good to see everybody. Yeah. Bobby Witt, what's going on? Yeah, and you David were talking KX. about um, you know, winter coming in Horizon. Um, we geared up for the past two seasons for you know a heavy winter, so we're ready for this winter. Yeah. I mean, we got plenty of salt, we got plenty of trucks, salt trucks. Um, we have equipment to move snow, we have equipment to stack snow, we have equipment to push snow. Um, I mean, we're ready. Um, I feel like this is the year, man. Yeah, I do too. I, I feel like it has to be. Mm -hmm. it has to we're be ready the year. for this winter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we got yeah, plenty so of salt, we got plenty of trucks, salt oh, trucks. If I read it correctly, I'm pretty sure we're due for a good winter this year. Right. So, yeah, you know, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, we're right. I, so. I feel like this is the year, man. Yeah, I, I feel like it has to be. Mm -hmm. it has to we're be right in here for this winter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we got yeah. so salt, we got to the farm trucks, salt yeah. trucks. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right, right. Right. I'm pretty sure we're due for a good winter. Right. 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 So, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, we're right. I feel like this is the year, man. Yeah, I feel like it has to be. We're right in here for this winter. Yeah, I mean, we got to the farm trucks, salt trucks. Like, right, right. I mean, we're right. I feel like this is year. I feel like it has to be. I mean, we've got to show all the way down to the farm house, all the time. I'm pretty sure we're going to do some good things. Yeah, I mean, we've got to show all the way down to the farm house, all the time.
We're good. Sorry about that, guys. We're working out some, some new equipment in the studio here. Just having a couple technical difficulties. Work with us here. Um, so, so you, Carmen, you said that, that you started out, you know, your, parent, your, your parents came over from Italy. Um, you know, you got started working on the CNC technology in the yep. early 2000s. Yep, and then we, we made a commitment in the late, uh, late 2000s, uh, late, in late 2008, 2009, we decided to go uh, get all new, all new machinery. All new digital technology, and we co I made a commitment to to go 100% American made. Um, so we switched all of our machines and got new machines um, to all USA made machinery. Everything's made here in the states, which has been great. Um, service is second to none. Uh, you know, if something goes wrong, you call them and it's fixed within yeah. minutes to an at to hours. Yeah, that's um, awesome. So it's, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, and I'd imagine stuff like that. I mean, all the technology that's involved in CNC. You know, all the coding, yeah. all the all the, the chips, all the boards, all that kind of stuff that can go bad. Oh yeah. You know, having yeah. to send something like that overseas to get it it's to get it pain. serviced would be it, that'd be pretty awful. It was bad. When we our first machine was from Italy and uh, that was that was an issue. It it took weeks to get parts. Yeah. Um, now it's uh, now it's overnight. So That's awesome. Yeah. That's very awesome, man. Yeah. So what I mean, was there any any particular job that came up that, that kinda got you guys like we got to get CNC, or you guys just um, kind of got tired of getting electrocuted while you cut. <laughs> yeah, it was getting tired of getting electrocuted. You know, it was getting harder as jobs were getting bigger, kitchens were getting bigger. So mm -hmm. you know, you're talking, you're talking. It was like ninety nine, two thousand, two thousand one. So jobs are slowly getting bigger. Um, the, then the next problem was getting people to work. Uh, we were having that. We were having that issue. Yeah, uh, it was very hard work. Hard to. Everything was very, very labor intensive. Yeah. And I was working probably, I mean, as the son of the business, mm -hmm. I was working literally 20 to 24 hours a day. 
Yeah. I mean, I was in there. You, we used to hand router granite countertops. You would literally take a router that's the size of this table, mm -hmm. and you'd have to manhandle it to put the edge on the on the countertop. Yeah. And we couldn't get someone to do that. They would start, and then they would quit a week later. Right. So I was doing it. Plus, yeah. I was doing everything else. Plus, I was doing this and that. Yeah. And finally, my dad was like, you're not, no longer, can, we can't keep going like this. Yeah. We have to grow. And that's when we went to CNC technology because then it's just a matter of the machine does it. Yeah. You just got to program it. Yeah. Right. So then I had to go to Italy for a year to learn how to program it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, not for a year. For a oh, month. Oh, man. For you had week. to go to Italy yeah. for a month. Yeah. For, for a week. For a week. <laughs> for, for a year. For a week. Right. Yeah. Which right. was a year. Right. Yeah. For a week for, for training. Um, but that was awesome. It was a great experience. Mm -hmm. So. Well, so what do you specialize in? Is it more so remodeling stuff or new construction, or do you do a yeah. little bit of both? We do a little bit of both. Most of our new construction is going to be mostly with like the local um, custom builders, okay. like, like Jeff Henry and uh, Jeff Hinderer and mm -hmm. some of these local smaller guy builders, uh, Tyler Ness, a couple, couple other small yeah. builders. Great builders. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. Do, you know, we'll do stuff for them. We don't really get involved with the with the the. Uh, the big developments with the, the big guys it's right. that's not our that's not what we're yeah. looking to do right um but we don't we do some of those but our biggest work is remodeling i mean i'd that's say right. it's 95 percent of our work that's great right. is remodeling so yeah. yeah um that's always been that way we've always been busy yeah remodeling is always happening right do you yeah. have a showroom that anyone off the street can come come to or yep. is it more of a wholesale yeah so we are yeah we, you can come off the okay. street yep a little bit it's a little bit of both we do go wholesale and retail mm -hmm. um we do add we are open by appointment only so with with covid mm -hmm. when when we reopened <laughs> it was uh we had to go by appointment only just for the restrictions mm -hmm. what we found was by going appointment only, we had a dedicated time slot with the customer, and the customer loved it. Yeah. Because yeah. what was happening before is you'd get five customers to walk in at once, mm -hmm. and now you're juggling. There's mm -hmm. only two of us in the office. We do add, so We are open by appointment only. Juggling who? So with yeah. with so COVID, everybody feels left out. Right. Mm -hmm. So now we went to appointment only, mm -hmm. and everybody is dedicated that time slot, and they love that attention. Yeah. yeah. And we actually, probably don't lose much. We, much business either because we, the people that want it, that want granite want granite that you know it's it's not going to change our our percentage numbers are higher mm -hmm. so That's we're awesome. actually getting more we based on what i'm seeing we're actually getting more business by being by appointment yeah, yeah. um so i think that was the best move we made so now we're staying that way right so um, when people call there or is, whoever's answering the phone, do they set the appointment there or does yep. someone call them back? Either way. So if they happen, in case, if we are, obviously there's just two of us. So mm -hmm. if we're able to answer the phone, we yeah. will answer it and make the appointment happen. If we're with customers, just leave a message and we'll call you back and set that set up that Gotcha, appointment. gotcha. Yeah. I found in our business that it, at least it, it's easier to manage. So we have two people dedicated to answering the phone. Yeah. So, and they, they have access to our calendar. We use Google Calendar. Yep. And so he or she who answers the phone will already know what time slots are available. Yeah. At that point in time, the salesperson can juggle it around if they have to move it around. Yeah. But they, I they have access to our better. calendar. We can do it that way then, then when they call, say, hey, somebody will be in touch with you. Yeah. Because we find things tend to fall through the cracks. If yeah. you don't set that commitment right yeah. there and then, that appointment yeah. right, that there right there and then. Yeah. And people love that. And, it's, and a lot of people are working from home right now and we have to do not so much in-home consultation yep. anymore because it used to be in-home consultation right. more so front yard co consultation right. anymore and, yeah. and what yep. we do is on the exterior of the home anyhow right we right. don't have to go in anybody's dining room and sit down and, yep. and spend an hour there correct and yep. we're not like that anyhow we're not a high pressure yeah. sales one call sign type of company anyhow. And that's the best way yeah nobody yeah. likes yeah. a high pressure no right, right. yeah <laughs> we're not like that at all yep. but but to circle back to I, I could only, to when your dad bought the, the CNC machine, I can only imagine the fear that, that was going on with him at that time. Like, this could make or break us. Oh, yeah. Moment. And I tell you what, I was on the other end of the phone call when that decision was being made. I bet. He was, a, he was at a trade show in Florida. He called me and said, I need to know you're 100% in with me because I just finished college. That's giving me goosebumps. Yeah. yeah. And I, I know. He's like, I need to know yeah. you're 100% in with me. I mm -hmm. said, yeah, I'm 100% in. He goes, I'm about to spend half a million dollars. Wow. Are you in? Yep. 
And I said, well, what do I got to do? He goes, you're going to have to go to Italy for a week and learn this machine. <laughs> I went, do they speak English? <laughs> and uh, That's awesome. Yeah, so, it, they, you know, I ended up, I had to speak, I do speak Italian. So it worked out that I was able to speak Italian there. But, yeah, yeah I, it was uh, one of those where it was like, you better be all in because we're getting ready to spend a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. And best move we ever made. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's, really That's awesome. awesome. That's one of those gambles as a business yeah. owner. And and you, I'm sure you can relate. On, yeah. Not maybe not on a daily basis, but there, o- over the course of time, I can remember look, looking back, saying to myself, "Man, should we do this or shouldn't we do this? Yeah. Am I in way over my head? Am I not? Y- yeah. y- you know what I mean? So I get that fear, and I don't think a lot of people know that 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 about that stress. Oh yeah, it's a big stress. And being responsible for yeah. other people. Yes, yeah. that's amazing. You know, being those, responsible for your employees. Yes, yeah. those decisions that we make could make or break us sometimes. Absolutely. But like when your dad called you, I rely on Chris. Yeah. Like he, whether he knows it or not, I I I've never actually made that phone call to him. Like, are you in or not? <laughs> yeah. But I've I've made comments to make sure I. It was yeah. confirmed to me that Chris was all yeah. in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. and, and, yep. you know, our kid, hey, I'm, I'm thinking about landing another national builder. Yep. You know what I mean? And get his input in yep. on it. And after listening to him, that gives me the confidence to make follow up with that phone call like, yep, we're in. Yeah. Send me the, send me the blueprints. Because yeah. yep. kind of how it works in our world, mm-hmm. and I don't know, I'd imagine this might work the same with you guys. I don't know exactly what your role is in Frank's, yep. but his job is to look six months out. Yeah. A year out, two years out, yeah. you know, he's talking on the forecast, you know, he's worried about the election, the, yeah. you know, all, all the things that are lined up. Yep. My job is to work in now, two weeks out, yeah. three weeks out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I have to, I have to make sure that I know how we are right now yep. and, and how, how we're able to produce the work and, and keep up with the work right now. Yeah. And I know that he's working ahead and yeah. he knows, he knows that that's I have good. us now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. And that's good teamwork right there. Yeah. Right. That's really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We do yep. work good together and we communicate. And really, there isn't a conversation that we can't have. Right. It yep. doesn't matter if it's personal, business, combination of both. And that's good. Yeah. You yep. know what I mean? I'm having a bad yep. day. I didn't sleep last night. Yep. Whatever the case might be. You, yep. you know, we talked about some pretty deep yeah. stuff too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. intimate moments, you know, yep. and, and I think that has grown our bond even closer. 100%. Yep. You know, and I, I know what he's about. The morning, I, every morning I see him walk in, I know what kind of day he's going to have. Yeah, like, tell, I know him that well. He's walking in. Yes, I know Absolutely. him that well. You know, yep. I'm sure he knows me yeah. he like that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You know, but that's family. Oh, yeah. 100%. Absolutely. You know, and, and yeah. not just Chris, but everyone else, yeah. too. You know, Brandon, his yeah. sidekick. 100%. Man. Chris Mendez, who runs the, the landscaping thing. When you came yep. in, you saw a couple yes. of the landscapers yep. here. Yep. We also do landscaping. Yep. I, I don't know why, but that was one <laughs> of those. Something this, else, yeah. That was one of those decisions in my career yeah, where it was yeah. like do I do this or don't I do this yeah. my son-in-law actually came with the business okay um yeah. it was going it wasn't going to go out of business but they were selling it yeah so with him being with my daughter I thought it'd probably be a wise idea to keep this kid working yeah, yeah. but one of the greatest things absolutely. I've yeah. ever did that's absolutely good. yeah and not only is it great for you but it's great for him which is great for you yeah you yeah. know what I mean yeah. Like, yeah. and he loves it yeah that's good yeah and, and I mean they're they're very young kids yeah, yeah. they're they're what fresh twenty? Yeah, fresh twenty. You know so I mean? most of the the guys are uh, volunteer firemen out at uh, Nine House. Yep. Here in Dover. Yep. They they have great work ethics. It is so hard to find a twenty something year old oh, yeah. that has work ethics like yeah. these kids. They left right before we got here. Yeah. They were yeah. working on the offices. Yeah. They're, we're expanding. Yeah. Some more and building the offices and running out of um, storage. But that's okay. We'll have to open up the, the shop back down there again. Yeah. But um, yeah, man, greatest thing we ever did. But again, it's one of those decisions, you know, man, should I or shouldn't I do right. this? Because everything costs money. Absolutely. Yeah. Everything. everything. Every decision costs money. can either yeah. cost yeah. you money or make you money, or yeah. sometimes and cost you money. It's not hundred bucks. No, yeah, it's not even a thousand bucks. No. I mean, it's, would you guys would you guys agree that that as business owners, um, and anyone out there watching right now, you know, I want your input on this too. That 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 runs a business, even if you don't own the business, if you're involved in running the business, mm-hmm. um, some of those big blind leaps of faith. That you're really not sure about, yeah. Usually end up the most rewarding. Yeah, you figure it out. Yeah, man, absolutely. You know what I mean. Yeah. You figure it out. Absolutely. Yeah. And they usually end up being the most rewarding things that they you do. are. They definitely are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You take that. You just like, man, I hope this works. And then yeah. <laughs> when it works, it's really great. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, and sometimes you look like you know what you're doing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah. And you know, and through trial and errors, you know, we've 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 had 
we've had failures. Sure. But, but fortunately, we've had more victories than we've had failures. Yeah. yeah. And from those failures, we've learned. Yep. You know, or else you wouldn't be where you're at. I know right. that for a fact. I yeah. know what it is to be in the daily grind. I, yeah. ca I call it in the trenches. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? And, and, and a lot of days, you got to have that failure isn't an option attitude. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. You have, you have to keep going. Yep. No, right. matter, no matter what. Even if you do fail, mm -hmm. you have to. Yeah. All right, well, that didn't work. Well, you don't fail if you learn. Yeah, right. Exactly. You know what I mean? Learning. That's, that's it's not a failure. Ex it's, a, right? it's a learning experience. Yeah, yes. if you quit something up, yeah. I'm not going to do it again. Right. You know what I mean? I know what I did to cause that, that mistake or that you know, moment of learning, yeah. Yeah. and you just don't do it again. Right. You know, yeah. you tweak it and you figure out how to do it the, cro the correct right. way. Correct yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, that's, that's good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so how – one of the big things that I – the big questions that I always wondered with the, with the whole granite business, like – how, like, how do you just get a big, giant piece of granite? Like, cause yep. some of these, some of these kitchens, man, are huge. Like, oh, some yeah. of the pieces, of the countertops, one piece, you know, pieces of granite, they're heavy. Yeah. You know, you know, what what kind of issues do you guys run into? So, it all starts with the big block of the mountain. So mm -hmm. it all comes from a mountain somewhere in the world, mm -hmm. uh, and it comes in a think of a think of a block of cheese, big okay. rectangle, big cubic rectangle. Yeah. Uh, usually it's 10 feet long by six feet high by, I don't know, 10 feet wide, let's say. It's just a big block. What does something like that weigh, you think? Ton oh, man. Probably 100 tons. I mean, it's just huge, just huge amounts of weight. And they'll knock it. I've actually been to these quarries. I've been to the quarries in uh, Carrara, Italy, and it's just amazing to watch how they get these slabs out of a mountain, onto a truck, down the mountain right. on a little rinky dink truck. Ice road truckers. Oh man, man. I tell you what. <laughs> yeah, and it's just as wide as the truck is. Right. And you know, they get it down into the town. So you basically take this big block um, and they slice it. They yeah. slice it like like cheat, like a loaf of bread. They slice they slice the block. And there's a lot of automation involved. So mm -hmm. as as it gets sliced, there's there's robots that are grabbing the slab and then they're putting it onto a conveyor belt system. And then it gets goes through a system where it polishes it. So it's just like sanding wood. So just like how this wood is nice and smooth, mm -hmm. you start a coarse grit, go to a fine grit. Same thing with granite. Uh, they, they do the, and marble. They do the same thing. Start a coarse grit, go to a fine grit. They just use diamond, mm -hmm. and eventually become shiny. Wow. So goes through the goes through the conveyor belt system through all the machines. They make it shiny. They stack it up. They put it in a container, and it ships over to yeah. us. And it comes to us in inch and a quarter thick slabs, roughly ten by six. When we order, we order anywhere from 10 to 50 slabs at a time. And then we'll, we'll unload those slabs and put them on, into our A-frame system in our warehouse. Mm -hmm. So we do have an indoor warehouse. So when people do come to us, it's not so much a showroom, like a kitchen and bath showroom that you would see like uh, like, a, like at Lowe's or Home Depot or yeah, something like that. Right. It's not so much that because people don't need to see that. They want to see the big slab. So mm -hmm. the big slab is they want to know what this big hunk of stone is going to look like getting into, into their home. Yeah. Right. So they actually go into our warehouse and see the big slabs. And then if that's what they like and it's available, we tag it, we put their name on it in our inventory system and it's theirs. Wow. And um, probably one of the one of the bigger islands we've done uh, is actually one of the guys that you've had on here on this show is Chris Markey from To The T. Oh, uh, yeah. He, he, he has a pretty big island and uh, took, uh, I think, like seven guys to bring that puppy in. Wow. So, Holy cow. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a big so island. So you guys do all, when you guys do installs, it's, it's hand brought in? You guys it's don't hand, have any kind of like... So we have, we have dollies. Uh, technology has really gone a long way in the past two years mm -hmm. with installation. It used to be just bring it in by hand. Yeah. Uh, now, they're, now they have some nice little dollies that, to bring it in. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about the new dollies are is they actually lift it up for you off the ground and actually fold over and you can roll it into place wow. without actually lifting anything that's um, nice. so that's uh that's real nice yeah. um, the next step is going to be taking it off the hardest part right now is taking it off the truck mm -hmm. um, it's heavy so you gotta get it's your man handling it off the truck um to get in a big truck to with a crane truck you know you're talking big money yeah um so that might be the next step Mm -hmm. But I'm looking into other alternatives because yeah. there's other things that, that are being worked on right now. So nice. kind of letting the technology catch up to, to our industry yeah. mm -hmm. on that aspect and mm -hmm. that way I can upgrade. Because right now, our, so our average employee that has been with us roughly is 15, 16 years is our average employee that's, that's been with us. That's so, really good, man. Yeah. So, we, you know, they're doing good. They're not going to.
Yes. Uh, you know, because that's going to save their back. Yes. And he's going to stay with me for another 10 years. Exactly. So it works out great. And he'll end up paying for it. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it all works. Yeah, it all, works. all pays for all itself. All pays for itself. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. In the end. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome, man. Absolutely. That's, that's really awesome. Yeah. Yep. And I can relate to that. When the guys ask me and call me and say, hey, can we get this? Uh, Geo asked for a battery operated pneumatic roofing gun. Yeah. Um, hey, can we do it? It would make service go a lot quicker. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's four hundred dollar gun. Yeah. You know yeah. that I'll probably never see again. Right. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm okay with that because I know he's moving more efficiency yeah. efficiently, and he doesn't have to break out a hose. Yeah. Carry a gas can. Yeah. You know what I mean? You and, might get one extra job a day out of that. Exactly. And that's, Absolutely. And ta and that will pay for itself. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Instead of time. him working by headlight some nights at nine o'clock getting something done, he'll he's be done, done by it. he'll be done by five. Yeah. A decent hour. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. he's now he's loving life because he's going home at a decent hour. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. able Absolutely. to enjoy his family. Yeah. Time. Yeah. 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 It all yeah. works out. Yeah. Yeah. It all works out in the long run. Yeah. yeah. So usually when the guys ask for stuff, unless it's something totally ridiculously crazy, um, we usually step up pretty quick to get them. Yeah. Whether it be new new ladders, we go through ladders a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The taller ladders tend to fall and get bent. Yeah. Um, so we go through a struggle of trying to find enough big ladders. Especially right now. Oh man. yeah, right now. It's my How's topic. that affecting you in so your business? Right now, what we're finding is uh, good question. Yeah, we it it, it has affected it because a lot of different countries have shut down their mining. So luckily, we've had an, we have enough in stock. So we probably have. Uh, I don't know, over a million dollars in inventory mm -hmm. of stone. So we have a lot. Mm -hmm. So what's nice is, is there's a lag right now, but because we have so much in inventory, it's, it allowed, it allowed you can time. fill in the gaps. Fill in the gaps. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's all working out, but yeah, it is an issue. What we're finding more now is a lot of the warehouses where we buy like our sinks from and our faucets from and stuff like that. They're, they've now, they're now down to where they had like, let's just say 10 warehouse workers. They're now down to two. Mm -hmm. And so, like where I used to get a sink in two days, it's now two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, you know, we're just, they have them, they yeah. just don't have the people to put them in a truck and yeah. deliver them and yeah. Yeah. ship them out. Yeah. So, we're seeing that. We're not, it's not as bad as what you guys are probably seeing. Yeah. I know there's a lot of craziness in the supply chain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Windows, yeah, everywhere. shingle yeah, windows, siding yeah. right now. Yeah, windows yeah. are probably our worst. Yeah. Um, shingle manufacturers have cut back to six colors only. Now that and that's a lot for for most shingle fin, uh, manufacturers right now. I think um, Certainty's making four, Tamco's making two, GAF's making six. That's our predominant shingle. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Certainty siding wise, w we can get just about anything, but it's taken it's four taken to eight weeks. Yeah, wow. it's Same thing time, with yeah. with vinyl windows. It seems like the vinyl industry right now. I know the Louisiana down there. They got hit by a storm a couple oh, yeah. months ago. Yeah. Well, for whatever reason, the um, resin, the vinyl resin plant uh, that is down in that location makes 80% of the resin. Oh, wow. And, for the nation. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. so yeah. that didn't help either on top <laughs> yeah. of Corona. So windows, I've heard horror stories about windows. Like don't even, don't even ask for them until after the first of the year. Fortunately, wow. we've, we've gotten some different outlets that yeah. we can reach out to yep. and you know it's not quite that bad we're somewhere i mean four to eight weeks on windows yeah. when it used to be 14 day turnaround right yeah yeah and, and it's i guess i mean it's bad it's good it, i guess the only good thing is is it's everybody mm -hmm. right so yeah, it's, it's not, not like, just us it's not just you <laughs> yeah you know it's, right. it's everybody so yeah. it's not a matter of you well, know that I'm someone going, isn't going to be like oh i'm going to this other I'm going to the other guy. Guy. I'm yeah. going, you know yeah because yeah. mm -hmm. they're yeah. going to be saying the same thing they yeah. get it at the same place right yeah, yeah. and I, like for us and I, I mean I, you know i'll say this one thing i you know there are you know we're, we're well known in the area mm -hmm. so um we're not the cheapest we're not the most expensive but you get the best from us we get the right. best guys but one thing I always say is, you know, we're busy. like right now it's crazy. Right now we're at an eight week lead time. So we're actually scheduling eight weeks out just to go measure a job. Wow. That's wow. for the minimum, that's for the final measurement. Yeah. Um, we're, we probably have one of the longest lead times right now in the area. And some people are not busy at all. Yeah. So I sit back and go, when they sit there and go, I'm going to find someone else. I sit there and go, okay, but they're not busy for a reason. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, you know, there's a reason we're as busy as we are. Yeah. Right. That you know, for that two hundred dollars, willing to wait for that two hundred dollar right. price difference yeah. on a five thousand dollar job. 
you know, yeah. if you really <laughs> yeah. want to take that chance? Yeah. Because we usually get the phone call later to fix it. Right. And right. that's um, a good point, too. Yeah. And, and that says a lot for your company. I yeah. mean, and any other company that are in those same shoes. Um, you know, anyone who's busy right now, that has to say a lot. Yeah. for their company and why they're still here and why they made it through the pandemic. I know there's some companies, you know, because of whatever restrictions or, you know, they just, they, they, they didn't have the nerve yeah. to, to keep the doors open or, you know, just thought, you know what, we're packing up. Yeah. And I know a lot of companies for a good three months in the beginning, other roofing companies that decided to just not, not do it. Yeah, not do it. Okay, yeah. And, and we did, the phone continued to keep ringing. So we kept going out and doing our thing yeah. and, and like you said we we started to get out you know eight weeks you know yeah. two two three weeks four weeks and it started to grow before we could even go out and give an estimate yeah well right. i didn't like that at all yeah because then people were calling in two weeks later they're calling in saying hey we got someone else to come out yeah so that we had to hire more people yep, just for the estimates just mm -hmm. to go out and do the estimates yeah, i believe that which is a good problem to have it's a very good problem to have i mean problem. we're in the middle of a pandemic and we're hiring people exactly yeah. you know yeah. what i mean a lot yeah. of people are wondering if they're going to have That's a job tomorrow we're and we're yeah we're taking bring them all too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah bring them yeah. all yeah absolutely you know and it's one of those things do do we back do do we backpedal do we pump the brakes or do we double down yeah this whole entire time and this is one of those decisions we were talking about earlier mm -hmm. do i double down on marketing yeah. or, or do we backpedal and try to save every dime that that we can save right we decided to double down yeah i think it'll be good i think uh I'll, i mean i guess you guys you can work during the winter as long as it's half decent right yeah, I mean, yeah. I assume. so yeah uh, Hopefully we have a nice mild winter like we did last year and yeah. <laughs> keep working strong. Right. I mean, that's, yeah. that's yeah. what you hope we hope for, really. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely. We're due for probably a bad I, I, I know we probably are. I don't, yeah. I don't like bad If, winter, if I but. say that, we hopefully <laughs> won't have any. What I did last year, though, is I doubled down on my snow plowing equipment. Yep. And did so. Maybe I'll do that again. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'll go out and buy a new plow truck. And I'll let you do and, that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, Janet. Double down. Yep. Double down. That's right. Yeah. Um, one of the big reasons I even asked you about, you know, how your a lot of stuff comes from Italy, and actually more comes from Brazil. Yeah. So Brazil was also shut down. Um, didn't hit the news as much, but they were they were shut down as well. Right. Um, but yeah, it's uh, they're but they're back in action again. You have to think when they're cutting stone out of a mountain, they're working now till we see that finished block in our warehouse is maybe six is uh, about three months uh -huh. so what you know that's just the process it takes to cut it from the mountain do the process and then to get on a boat and then ship it over mm -hmm. so right. it just takes time anywhere from two to three months mm -hmm. so even though they were shut there's a lot of suppliers here in the states that stock i mean you're talking warehouses the size of lowe's and there's they're throughout the country full of stone mm -hmm. so there's lots of stone already here just waiting to be purchased right so kind of it, it all worked it's kind of worked itself out yeah Good. um now will another shutdown in these other countries affect it possibly yeah um you know we'll see what happens hopefully nothing like that happens again but yeah you know we'll see i mean with with that being said you know it, it, it obviously took some time to build up that stock so i'd imagine yeah. at some point in time there's gonna have to be a, a, a little hiccup you know what I mean? Where 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 eventually that's going to run out, and they're they're not going to be, not gonna be yeah. bringing it in as fast as they were before. So correct. Eventually so, that'll happen. I'd imagine. Eventually, I think eventually it's going to happen unless there's enough. Like I said, there's a lot of people at stock material. So right. the mine, the mine got shut down. So then and they're so they're they're being shut down for now, not for COVID, but they got shut down for some whatever reason over there. They decided to shut it down for the government purposes mm -hmm. and. Uh, they, they're they're one month shut down, so I won't be able to get. I purchased all of it that I could, because a guy said, "Hey, I have a container load coming. I have 54 slabs coming. It's on the water." I I literally told him, "I want all 54 slabs." He goes, "We can't even deliver that to you in one shot." I said, "Deliver it in two. Deliver it in three. I don't care. I want all 54 slabs." Mm -hmm. He goes, "We've never sold one person 54 slabs." <laughs> I'm buying all 54 slabs. Awesome. He's like, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna make sure I have enough. Yep. That way, if somebody wants that color, I got it because yeah. it's a popular color. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's what you know, kind of. I'm preparing. It's good customer service. Right? Yeah. And it, yeah. I'm you know preparing because yes. I'm not gonna get that color. That's again, you looking so. six months out from that. Right. Yeah. yeah. How about some shout outs, guys? Yeah. yeah. Shout outs. <laughs> well, I see Jana yes, Kim Smith out there. Big sure I'm live on here too. Michael Donovan, sure right? yeah. Derek, I saw Derek on there, five years, going on six years strong. 
never laid off through the winter. John Stauffer, thank you, buddy. He's glad that we doubled down. He's my website guy, mm -hmm. my Google man. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Todd Ra Rawhauser, Corey Burns, good to see you, brother. I saw Colin on here. Chris Markey, who's actually here making a ruckus in the background. Um, David KX, my man. Uh, Dave, how do you say Dave's last name? Dave Worrell? Yeah. Dave yeah. Worrell, my man. He was a new hire through uh, the pandemic here. Mm -hmm. Tommy Cordell, he uh, is a, a gentleman that I went to high school with and shit all through school over in Waynesboro. He races uh, late model, his fenders in the office there. Okay. Yeah, Thomas Cordell, good man there. Uh, Daniel Barker, my man, and then Shane. Shane's, the Shane's been quiet tonight. Hopefully you're sharing the heck out of that back hey, I don't know how can you guys, what you, can you guys hear anybody? Yeah. You guys? No. yeah, we can hear no. you, bro. Yeah, so uh, a big thing right now is and we, we actually did we actually brought this uh, technology oh man almost 15 years ago before it's time mm -hmm. and it's just now starting to take off. Yeah. So the big thing right now is granite. Some people don't want their granite shiny. Mm -hmm. They want it to feel like a leather coat. So it's got a texture to it. Okay. So it's got a matte finish, so it's not shiny, but it has a slight texture to it. Just to feel like a leather coat. It's really awesome. Wow. Oh, it's super yeah. cool. Yeah, and yeah, we're able to we're that. able to do that at our shop. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Now the mm -hmm. nice thing is technology has changed in the production end of things, where now most of the stone we buy comes to us with one side shiny, one side leather. So I can pick from either side cool. to make the countertop. But if that company doesn't offer it, I can do it myself at our shop. And awesome. that's something we can offer. That's really awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, Good that's, stuff. that's really awesome. Um, so I, I kind of want to switch gears here because, you know, not only are you, um, a very big part of, you know, probably the best, um, uh, marble and granite company in within a hundred miles, 200 miles from here. Um, maybe even more than that. I, I don't no, know. I don't really know any other ones other than I know. you guys. <laughs> we're, we're, we're pretty big here in New York anyway. Yeah. We used to, you know, the times have changed, you know, right. We used to go about an hour to two hours in radius. Mm -hmm. Now we don't do it anymore. Now it's just pretty much York County. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll go about an hour max. That's awesome, yeah. though. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you're also a member of um, the the Buy Local York. Yeah. Um, yep. Tell us a little bit about that, man, because yeah. that's, that's good stuff there. Yep. So I'm the president of the Buy Local Coalition. Mm -hmm. Buy Local Coalition was a nonprofit started back in 2009. And uh, it was started by about six different companies in the area, and it quickly got big. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, the guys that started it wanted it to be a free membership networking, a free networking group. Amazing. The problem was it can't be free forever. Yeah, you know right. the guy that was backing it. Um, so the guy that started, got the main guy that started was Scott Wagner from Penn Waste. Okay. So he was the main guy that started it, and, and a couple other companies, uh, Quality Dot, uh, Reimprinting. Uh, York Traditions Bank. So these guys all started this networking group. As it got bigger, it was kind of getting out of control and it was like, well, how do we, we need a website. Mm -hmm. Well, a website costs thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in the beginning, Scott Wagner paid all that. Mm -hmm. That was all fine and dandy. Uh, the next evolution though had to be, once he got into politics, we had to break away. You know, we're, we don't want to be political with, with that group. Yeah, so, yep. so we had to break away and we had to start a membership fee. So it's $75 a year for uh, for per business. So the business can join for 75 bucks a year and you get a website listing and you get to come to all of our events. We try to have one event a month and it's just a, we're a cool, laid back, fun networking group. Uh, we have a great time when we do get together and if you're a local, and it's for locally owned businesses. So, you know, McDonald's can't join, mm -hmm. Lowe's can't join, stuff like that. And they all have their place. So, you know, I, you'll, you'll see, I'm always promoting local. Mm -hmm. Listen, I get it. People are going to buy from Amazon. People are going to buy from Lowe's. Mm -hmm. People are going to buy from Walmart. Mm -hmm. It's the way it is. There, every, everything has its place in the world. Yeah. Convenience. It, it's convenient. People and like it convenience. Is what it is. Absolutely. Yeah. But I, what I try to say is, is, you know what? That's all fine, Andy. But if you can, just instead of buying that Starbucks coffee, get it from the local coffee shop. You know, go to Belmont Bean. Go to the Vintage Creamery. Go to... Go to uh, uh, the, you know all the different places in the city. There's so many lo local coffee shops. Mm -hmm. Just try it once and yeah. see what you think. You know, because Starbucks has plenty of business. Yeah, you know that local guy 
he's trying to put his kids through school. Right. Yeah. You know, that, that, that's what's going to help them survive. Right. You know, so right. I always say try, try a local company first with yeah. whatever. Hit but a local hardware can't. store. Local instead, hardware store, instead yeah. Of Lowe's, you know, yeah. go hit a local hardware store, yeah. an appliance store. And yeah. I get it. It's not always yeah. possible. <clears throat> yeah. Right. You know, it's, it, we all, we all do it. We all order that item from Amazon once in a while, yeah. but if, you know, or go to Lowe's or, and that, like I said, it's all, it all has its place. Yeah. But if you can, I always try to say, if you can try to buy local. Yeah. And usually you end up making a friend out of it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've met Chris and he's like a brother now. Yeah. You know, well, the good thing about it is, you know, you walk into, you know, your local coffee shop, yeah. you go there three or four times. Yeah. They're going to remember your name. They remember your yeah. name. And They're going to remember what you order. Yep. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you're not even going to have to ask for it a lot of times. Absolutely. Like you walk in, yep. they'll have your coffee. They'll have your, your, your Danish or whatever. You know what I mean? And it's, it, that's the cool thing that's about buying cool local. And then even like, you know, as a business, you get to know these people. And they, are, they get to know you. Next thing you know, you're now doing business. Now they're doing business with you. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you have this. Oh, cool. I'm, well, I need I need a granite countertop for here. And mm -hmm. Next yeah. thing you know, you're doing something for them. So, right. you know, it all works out yeah. I mean, it, without yeah. even trying it. It's, yeah, uh, exactly. You know, and then, then you got, like a lot of these guys, I'm, I'm not, I'm personal friends with so many people because it's, you create relationships. Absolutely. You know, and that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah. And, and that's, you know, eventually it's word of mouth is what's your biggest you know, it's the biggest advertising. Biggest advertising. Yes, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, sure. and then if you do, if someone asks you, "Hey, I need this done," and you don't do it, well, you know what? I I don't I never use the service because I've never had to have that done. But I met a guy or I met a girl, and she has an awesome attitude, and mm -hmm. they are they're, they own this. And hey, contact them because yeah. they seem trustworthy. Yeah, you know, so yeah. you even recommend somebody based on just their attitude, yeah. their personality. Right. You know, if you meet them a few times at a networking event or something mm -hmm. like that. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So we, yeah. you know, try and promote Buy Local all the time. It's buylocalcoalition.com or buylocalcentralpa.com. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and, and the other big thing, just to add to that whole buying local thing. So not only can you, can you network, um, you know, people will remember your name. You get yeah. the personal relationships. Yep. Um, but what happens to that money when you spend it? You know what well, I mean? It, it it stays local. It stays local. You know what I mean? It's it's our own economy. Shane, you preach this all the time, man. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're we're our own economy. You know what I mean? It it takes a village to do a lot of things. And when you go to that local hardware store, that local coffee shop, the local appliance store, um, you're putting money in that owner's pocket who lives here. Yep. He's yeah. gonna go to another local place and spend it's, his money it's there. Local, yep. You know what yeah. I mean? And it all it all works its way back around. It does, it works you know, its way around. You go to Lowe's, where's that going? Yeah, it's going. Cool. Yeah. It's, <laughs> not not in your local. No, yeah, not, not in your local. Yeah. So that's that's another big part that I like to kind of stress too, because it, it, it keeps our local economy boosted. Mm -hmm. And in times yeah. like this where we have the shutdowns, yeah. you know, where where tomorrow isn't promised for employment and all that yeah. kind of stuff. That's what keeps the, the businesses running. Oh, it's, absolutely. It's the, the, the income and everything. So yep. it's super important to do that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, now we're firm believers in, in, you know, using and buying local. Um, we, we try to support, you know, and again, that's why we're doing what we're doing right now. Yeah. We're kind of doing like a virtual home show um, this time. What about New York Builders Association? Yeah, the, yep, York Builders yeah. Association. Yeah. Yeah, we're they, both part of that. Yep, yeah, that's yeah. huge, you know, yep. for us. Um, they, they give us leads. Yeah. Um, we've and, done things for them. They do things for us. Yeah. Yeah. And this is great. This whole virtual thing. Cause unfortunately this is the reality. Yeah. And this is the way things are probably going to be for, uh, I, I mean, I don't want to be Debbie Downer, but yeah. I think it's going to be like this for a while. Yeah. Uh, this isn't going away. No. no. As no. much as we like to kid and say, oh, it's going to be over after the election. Yeah. That's not what's going to happen. Probably it's, not. It's going to be, this is going to be at least till next summer. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and that's just the way it is. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll take it in stride. But you guys are figuring it out. Yeah, you absolutely. Virtual. Yeah. We'll have, you have a, kind of like a virtual little home show here. Yeah. Every, every yeah. Week, which is great. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the way it is. Yeah. And yeah. and we don't mind. We started doing this last year at our home show. Yes. We, we started yeah. going live and and um, we just continued doing it. Yeah. You know, on Wednesday nights. It started out on Wednesday nights. We did the uh, home show tour and then continued to do it Wednesday yeah. nights. Yeah. And then... We started to get the itch for it because we would be getting amped for the home shows right. starting soon. So right. it's like, well, what are we going to do? And we like, do the meantime. Yeah. Yep. So we were like, screw it. Let's let we can be anywhere to do the home show. Right. We right. just need to bring local people in. Yeah. You know, because right. we don't want to have a home show with just me, Chris, and Shane every week. Yeah. You, yep. you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So we thought we'd bring local people in. 
you know, support local businesses. Yep. You know, really, that's what this is all about. Yep. Yeah, I nice. haven't met you up until tonight. I've heard yeah. only great things about yeah, you. Same. Thank you. Um, same. I have seen you before when I saw you tonight yeah. in the parking lot. I was like, I know that dude. I've seen you somewhere. Seen somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I probably saw me yeah. somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I think we uh, with Shane at the at the home show. Yes. Um, I think that's I think he introduced me. us. And it was crazy. I mean, we were all setting up booths and, yeah. You know, yeah. You, 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 hey, how you doing? It's a quick two yeah. second meeting yep. and, yep. and then back to work. You right. see so many exactly. people at, at those so, home shows. Yeah. Yes. That's just a um, blur. Home shows are a yeah. blur. Yes. Yeah. They're yeah. so sure. much fun. Though. Yeah. Yes. They, they are. are fun. They exactly. are fun. A lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I like, I actually enjoy doing them, but when they're done. Yeah. If you tell me you met me there, boy, I do I not know. remember. <laughs> I'm the same way too. We, I don't even know how many we did weekend after weekend. There was one or two weekends in between that we didn't do one but that gave us time to fix our setup because yeah. things were getting damaged right because we were humping these walls these are two by four walls oh yeah, yeah they're that's heavy, heavy. <laughs> which i that did, wall specifically is yeah. extremely like, heavy. i didn't want to build like <laughs> a, a furring strip wall because it would just get damaged in yes. in, in the transportation yep. of it, it wouldn't so last more than one now, home show probably exactly yeah. so we needed to build something beefy yeah. but again we need a piece of equipment that can load this on the right. on the truck efficiently yeah, now yes. we do have a forklift but there was no place for us to attach the forklift yeah. to get it up onto the back yeah of the we truck. used uh carpet carpet wheel dollies yep yeah um and a lot of arms oh yeah yeah that's yeah. usually what it is it's, yeah it's, dude yeah, yeah we, made yeah. we it took we probably took a, a page out of the old school granite installation yeah, yeah that's right. what you do i mean that's yeah. like our booth we put a slab in we put a slab in the back and literally it's we take the entire install crew and half the guys from the shop and we manhandle it off the truck yep. to get it there. I mean, yeah. you know, what do you, there's no other way. I mean, yeah. no. No. Let's figure it out. Figure it out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It. Figure it out. Exactly. And usually it's with like eight guys yeah. Yeah. or more. <laughs> right, exactly. Shout outs. Then yeah. we had a lot of people. Shout outs. Yeah, yeah. we'll do a couple outs. more yeah. shout outs here. You want to do them, Chris? Or yeah. Or? What's up, Samantha, Kimberly, Chris Mendez, Manchies, what's up, bro? Hope you guys track that buck down. Chris ran out of here earlier. Um, had to go help his dad track a buck through the woods oh, that he nice. shot. So hopefully nice. you guys caught that. Um, or found that, I should say, not caught it. <laughs> uh, Jared Higgins, Dana Fisher, Tyler Richards, Glenn Orr, Todd Rawhauser, um, Tina Yori. Good to see you, Tina. If I missed anyone, I apologize. Yep. Uh, please Hollister, leave me a comment, uh, and I'll give you a shout-out. Hollister, out. good to see you. He was an employee here at one time, a long time ago. Uh, he reached out to me. He we actually used to do uh, demo and uh, trash removal for CR years ago, mm -hmm. and he worked for me. Now he owns his own successful junk removal <coughs> business, and has, awesome. has, nice. has actually had questions for me. Not that I know anything about junk removal, but anyhow, good yeah. to see you, Matt. Thanks for watching. Like our page. Uh, give us a recommendation. Give us some thumbs up. Give us some hearts, some hugs, all that good stuff. That, yeah. That's good for the algorithms. Um, I saw a bunch of people in here earlier. Ricky Day, good to see you, buddy. Um, Todd Rawlhauser, Doogie, good to see you, brother. Jared Fitzke just joined. What's up, man? Jared, good to see you. Um, and guys, please hit the share button on this. It's super, super important. Um, if you're watching this video right now, please um, that's Yogi. share this. That's Yogi. Okay. Yep. Good to see you, Yogi. Um, share, comment, Ooh. like the page. See our um, stock slager. That's another gentleman I went to school with. Thomas Golden, he's one hell of a salesman. He sells windows and, and bathrooms and kitchens at another company that dude can sell, uh, what, what's that saying? Uh, um, sell salt to a slug. Yeah, salt to a slug <laughs> or, or a ketchup popsicle stick to a woman wearing white gloves on an 80 degree day. Um, who else? Thomas Chuck in the truck just joined. Jeff Chuck. Stump. Yeah. Engineer yep. installation there. There's Jared. Jared's another hard worker. Chuck in the truck. Good, great worker. Um, Jared and um, Chris are the ones building the walls along with their helpers and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, good stuff. They are, I think Jared's going to actually start installing gutters tomorrow. That's what I hear. Yeah. That's what word on the street yeah, is. Yeah, word on the street. He's, we're going to put him on a gutter truck tomorrow with his twin brother, Ricky Day. Don't take it easy on him, Ricky. Yeah. We're getting three single fans done tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe four. There's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of downspouts and gutter right. coil over there. Hi, Polly. <laughs> Is Polly on there? Yeah, she just hopped on. Cool. Hey, Polly. Hi, Polly. How are you doing tonight? There's it's Michael. Good to see everybody out Thanks there. for watching, Thank Michael. Everyone. Drop your town in the comments too. If you could drop your town in the comments, um, you know, and 
when you support local businesses, it just helps the community, it helps the stores around you. You know, people are having transition and getting jobs. When you share this, you know, these yeah. companies, everyone's looking to hire somebody, good yep. people, even if you have to get on a list. So when you share this, people get to have a personal contact with a company that they get to know personally. The thing about social commerce, and I'll tell you this, because when we started our company, no one was even doing this, okay? Is, but here's what we found out. You have to have vision to be a business owner, and you get to know people from the inside out. Because if I see you on the street, I'm going to judge you. That's just the way it is. But when you get to know people every week on a show, like behind the tool belt, you get to know the whole family and the culture of what TC Backland Horizon was. And it allows you to do it in the comfort of wherever you are, COVID-friendly, pandemic-friendly, and at the leisure of your time, protecting your biggest asset, or one of your biggest assets, which is your home. So it gives you an opportunity to go on a virtual, like kind of look at it like virtual Amazon, but keeping it local. That's yeah. what social commerce is, guys. And yeah. Guys. So it is super important. Maybe you can't buy some granted today. Maybe you're not going to buy some siding or insurance or whatever it is that's out there, or T-shirts. But what you can do is share it with someone else that might be looking for that product, and you're keeping it local. Absolutely. Yeah. Boom. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Well said, Shane. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. yeah. Man, I like the Amazon thing. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and you know, I always tell you know, there's always these memes out there. I'm gonna get it wrong, but it, you know, it's one of those where basically, you know, you, you, Lowe's isn't sponsoring your kid's baseball team. Right. No. You know. Uh, so again, they have their place, but if you can, you know, try and find that local company to to support. Yeah. Um, and that's who's gonna that's who's gonna support your your kid's baseball team or your your daughter's dance recital team or whatever it is. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, when you're looking for sponsors, it's the local small businesses that are gonna sponsor that to keep that going so that they can have their events and they can buy t shirts or they can buy whatever they need to buy for their equipment mm -hmm. um, and so on and so forth. And we need to you know, right now especially, we need to support local as much as possible with this pandemic. You know, it's really, I mean, the restaurants got hit the hardest. Yeah. I mean, I feel sure. bad for the restaurants. And it's, yeah. it's, uh, they got hit the yeah. one of the hardest. I mean, White, White yeah. Rose closed, what, three lo three locations? Yeah. I mean, that's that's yeah. big. They were one big. of the, that, that's probably the biggest restaurant in, yeah. in New yeah. York. I mean. And it comes down to, it, at some point, it's too, you know. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to be It's got to make dollars to make sense, man. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Talk a little bit about what's coming up by the local. Um, next week. Yeah. yeah, so next week, uh, for the, for anybody that's interested in uh, seeing what Buy Local is all about, um, feel free to come to our next network mixer. You do not have to pay to come. Just come check us out. Uh, our next network mixer is a week from tonight, so you have to decide if you're going to come to our network mixer or watch us live video, or unfortunately. <laughs> or do you both. can do both. You can do yeah. both because you can, you can watch both. on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, usually our mixer, so our mixer is uh, next Wednesday uh, at Gift Horse Brewing Company. And it is co-sponsored by Gift Horse Brewing and Tastefully York. Tastefully York does gift baskets. They do gift baskets where uh, they use all local vendors, whether it be popcorn, muffins, baked goods, whatever it is. They'll put a basket together. And so instead of you, you know, ordering something from from the mag from online somewhere to send to your customers or, or whatever to your vendors. Um, as appreciation, this guy here, Tasteful New York, puts it together with locally procured items. Nice. And then he'll sh he'll deliver it or ship it to your customer. Oh wow! Um, so that it's being co-hosted again. It's Gift Horse Brewing Company next Wednesday, and it's from 5:30 to 7:30. They are opening just for us. It is not a public. They're not publicly opened. Mm -hmm. This is a private event. So if you just go to our Facebook page at uh, Buy Local Coalition on the Facebook page, we have an event. Just say, uh, if you're not a member, just say you're going and you'll be allowed to enter the premises to say you're part of our private event yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, be able awesome. to check out. TC backer in there soon. Yeah. Yeah, man. Definitely. Yep. Let's Chris, Chris to the T is part of it. Yeah. yeah he always has a banger. Oh, I'm definitely going then. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, we yeah, got my number one groupie, number two groupie, <laughs> my number two groupie. Jan is watching. Jan is watching. So Jan is my number Better one. Turn that groupie. down a little bit. Yeah. Sorry, Chris. I, you know I love you. Yeah. Hopefully you clean that thing up for me. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I started to get off track there a little bit. You should be. If I wasn't happily married, you guys man. can't see, but he's back there blushing right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Yeah, so one one thing I wanted to ask you that I try to ask all of our people that come on here that I think is 
is really important just to kind of feel out the person behind the business. Mm-hmm. Um, so you got you've you've been a part of Frank's Marble and Granite for thirty oh, years. Yeah, so I'm forty four. So I was mm-hmm. born into the business. Yeah, uh, that's kind of actually our slogan on our website is we didn't get into the business, we were born in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so I was born. What's into the your business. most rewarding part? Or your mm-hmm. re- most rewarding moment um, mm-hmm. since you've been a part of this? Um, I've had I've actually had customers call me with tears of joy that they were so happy with their with their 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 final product. Mm-hmm. I mean, we literally have customers calling us with. You know, at first you get the phone call and you hear them crying, mm-hmm. and but it's not crying because they're upset. They're crying because they're so happy. Yeah, they've, it's their dream kitchen that they they they've been waiting for, mm-hmm. and uh, and they just they're so happy. So yeah. I, that that gives me a lot of satisfaction. When you, yeah, that's you know, awesome. That, that yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. really awesome. Yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of what I was looking for there, man. That's a perfect answer. Yeah. That's I think that's why a lot of us do this, man. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It's, it's to get those those little moments and. And there, a, a lot of those like really, really gushy moments are few yeah. and far between. Oh yeah. But they're, you know, you never forget them. Never forget them. You know what I mean? Yep. It, you know, I, I'd imagine you probably know some of these people's names. Oh yeah. Like yeah, it's, absolutely. It's, those are moments that you don't ever forget, and that's kind of why you, you know, you work the twenty to twenty four hour exactly. shifts, and yeah. and you know, yeah, the first yeah. one in, the last one out. Exactly. You know what I mean? Going yeah. to going, you know, wherever you got to go to get shirts delivered. You yeah. know. Um, uh, outside driving to Ohio to pick up windows for us. Like that's, yeah, right. that's right. why, yeah. that's why that stuff happens yeah. behind mm-hmm. the scenes. Behind the scenes. So, absolutely. Yeah. Do whatever um, it takes to make right. it happen. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. For sure, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Hi, so, Josie. <clears throat> yeah. And you know, and, and it's, it's tough after doing this for a while, you know, at least for me, um, you know, I, I know I've lost focus a couple of, you know, over the years of, of losing focus where, you know, it, it becomes, you know, a pain in the butt. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I mean? And, and, but when you have those moments that kind of rekindles the flame. Yeah. You, you, you know what I mean? It's yep. like, this is why I do this. Because yep. I know as the owner, some days I feel like I just constantly sure. get kicked in the guts. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, and, um, you know, have a whole entire week like that. And yeah, usually like, usually when it rains, of course. It's yes. usually not a one, it's not, it's not a one item and that's done. It's usually the whole day or the yeah, whole week. Right. And, <laughs> and I've come to accept that. So, like, so growing up in the business, I mean, literally, you know, as a kid, my dad had me working in the business weekends and summers. Yeah. And so I, I kind of grew up with all that mm. the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So as I get older, one thing I've noticed as I get older, um, I'm noticing I don't get as upset. Mm-hmm. I notice I try to relax about it and say, you know what, there's nothing you can do. It's happened since I've been a kid. It's going to keep happening. I, I'm not going to stop it from happening. So yeah. just let it happen. Deal with it. Go with the flow yeah. and fix it and yeah. Yeah. keep going. A lot of times it's, it's how you yeah. respond to those situations Correct. Yes. That, yep. that, that make or break it. You yeah, know what I mean? Absolutely. You can have somebody that is unhappy with, with what went down, yep. but how you respond to that yeah. is going to make or break if they're going to come back. Or absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? You, know, you, you can recover very quickly from, from those kinds of things. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, that's where culture comes in. You know, people, you know, you have a culture. You know, I've been in Carmen's business. It's amazing. Uh, years ago, before all this pandemic, and with T.C. Backer and Horizon Lawrence, and that's where culture and habit all come together because that's the chain being stronger than the person. And that's how this, and that's another testament to York Builders Association and Buy Local and things like this, man. And when you share news, man, make it positive. We are our own yep. government. We are our own community. And it's up to us to raise our brothers and sisters up. Yeah. Um, especially now more than ever. For sure. Yeah, man. absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. Well said, buddy. Yep. Well yep. said. Yep. So just, just to kind of uh, close this down here, guys, once again, um, super important, buy local if you can. Um if you have a business out there, you're in the local York area, $75 a year, yep. um, be a part of something that, that's super positive for the local community. Um, Frank's Marble and Granite, um, you know, best best marble and granite place around here. Yep. So Hands um, they wouldn't be busy right now if they weren't. Yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's right. Kind of, just to kind of fall back on that. Um, hop on their Facebook page. Hop on the Buy Local Facebook page. Like both of those for us, please. All the TC Backer fans out there, hop out there and, and like that. Yeah. Might as well hop on Chris Markey's To The T Facebook page, yep. too, yep. while you're at it. 
That's a, that's a combined total of maybe 15 seconds out of your life there, guys. It, it really helps us out a lot. Absolutely. Um, share the share all the videos out. Um, I appreciate everyone that, that religiously watches us every single week. Mm -hmm. um, I see a lot of the same faces on here every week. Um, and that's why we continue to do this. Yeah. Um, yeah. and, and all the preparation that goes into this. I know yeah. Victor behind yeah. the scenes here, yeah. he's been working on this for Don't like three days now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we appreciate everyone that, that contributes to all these things. Yep. All my guys that bust their butts for me. Yep. I got guys that I actually heard out in the parking lot that just rolled in. Um, so I appreciate all Shane. you guys. And Shane. And yeah. Shane. And Shane. Shane. And Shane. 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 Have, have opened their doors to us to, to sit in their studio. Yeah. And uh, we've experienced a lot of good stuff over the past, what, almost 12 months. Yeah. We've been doing it's this coming together. Up on it, man. Yeah, we, we've taken it mobile. Right. God bless you, Shane. So, yeah, and thank you. Thanks, everyone, for, for watching. Like our page. Like Frank's page. Frank's Marble and Granite. Like Chris Markey's page. Follow them. Like them. Um, we really appreciate it. Thank you, Vic, for all the hard work that you do back here. Thank you, girls in the office. Thank you, guys out in the field. Thank you to the salespeople. I'm not even going to attempt to say everybody's name. Yeah, don't do it, please. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, next time, I'm going to have me a list one of these days so I can personally thank that. everyone. We need yeah. to do yes. that. Um, I'm always afraid I'm going to leave somebody out. But uh, you know, everybody, you guys know who you are, man. Yeah. Thank you, guys. We love you. Thank you for being a part of the family. Such a great culture. Yeah. Um, we could not do what we do without you guys. Right. There's no way. Yeah. yeah. I'm a big thank you to. I'd like to say a quick thank you to all my employees too. Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, you know again we're not anything without them. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, you know I, I do my best to do what I can for those guys and yeah. treat them like family and whatever I can do. And you know, you're in the same boat. It's, yep. it's all about. It's all about. Family. Yeah. At the yeah. end of the day, it's all about family. Yep. And they're yeah, part sure. of the family. Yep. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Um, I appreciate you coming on, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Very, very good. Very, yes, very thank good you show. very much. Yeah. Very good show. Thank you. Thank, um, you. thank you. Once again, guys, next next Wednesday, um, you got Behind the Tool Belt. Episode 43 starts at 7. Also at 530 at Gift Horse Brewery. At the Gift Horse Brewery. There's the, uh, the private event um, for, for Buy Local <laughs> Coalition. Um, if you guys are, are interested in that, it is a free event. You yep. just have to hop on their Facebook page, um, go to their events tab, and say that you're going to go. It's from 5.30 to 7.30. 5.30 to 7.30, yep. Um, so that'll be a really good opportunity for networking, yep. um, you know, to, to meet a couple people. It's sponsored by the, by the Gift Horse by Brewery. Gift Horse Brewery and Tastefully York. And Tastefully York. Um, and once again, thank you everyone for watching, and we will see everyone next Wednesday, 7 p.m.